Hi everyone, I'm children's book author and illustrator Grace Lynn. I'm the author and illustrator of picture books like this, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star, and I'm also the author and illustrator of novels like this, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. What I thought I would do today is share with you a little bit from my newest novel, Mulan, Before the Sword. This is actually an original prequel novel to the live action Mulan movie that Disney is putting out. So if you read this book, you will kind of learn the secret backstories of some of the characters in the movie, and you'll also kind of get a hint of what's going to happen in the movie too. So what I thought I would do today is read to you the prologue of this book. So here's the prologue to Mulan Before the Sword. She disliked when they transform into spiders. When she was a spider, her sight dimmed and everything became shapes of smoke. But she saw well enough to follow Daji. Even in the shadows, the white spider seemed to glow. One of Daji's nine translucent legs brushed against her and she felt the pain of a slapped face. Daji was irritated that they had failed so many times. How many times had they done this? How many years only to be thwarted? The white spider tapped a leg on the floor impatiently, and she knew the message behind the flashing eyes. Get the right girl, the eye said. Daji found the other girl, an infuriating nuisance, always in the way and always somehow stopping them with her clomping feet or sudden movements. Obviously, Daji had said. She is not the one we want. That clumsy calf could never save the emperor. We want the other one. So it was the other one they crept towards. The girl that smelled of embroidery threads and woven cloth. The one with clean half moon fingernails and smooth hair that glistened almost as much as the poison dripping from their spider fangs. They crept against the floor and moved out of the shadows, crawling, watching, crawling. Unnoticed, they stole across the floor and up the leg of the table. Then, dodgy spider legs, like the craggy petals of a white chrysanthemum, disappeared into the folds of the girl's dress. They were closer than they had ever gotten before, and getting closer. Then the white spider leapt from the sleeve onto the girl's hand, the skin as soft and as delicate as a freshly steamed dumpling. The girl gasped, but it was too late. Daji had already stabbed her needle fangs deep into the flesh. At last, said the glint in the beady eyes. The girl screamed. The door flew open. The other girl, the one that smelled of horse and chicken feathers, rushed in. What happened? She called. Shoo! What's wrong? The nine-legged spider, the stricken girl said, grasping her sister's strong arms. The spider, it bit me. Oh, Mulan. So that was the prologue of Mulan Before the Sword. I hope you liked it, and I hope that you get a chance to read all of it. So thanks so much. Hi everyone, I just wanted to quickly let you know that I have a new podcast just for kids. It's called Kids Ask Authors. It's where a guest author and I answer one kid question. And every episode ends with a kid book review, a kid poem, or even a kid joke, which means that kids can submit their own book reviews, their own poems, or even their own jokes, and we'll play it on the podcast. So you can have your child submit Submit their jokes, their book reviews, and their poems to our podcast. Just go to www.kidsaskauthors.com and listen to the podcast too. It'll be a fun thing to do now. Thanks.